Hello, my name is Scott Massey. I'm a software engineering intern here at Adalto, and today I will be showing you how to route outputs from your custom components into magic text at Adalto. So for example, I have the stopwatch component. It plays, it pauses, it resets. It does all that sort of stuff. It also has this lap button, or, uh, which displays the most recent lap time in the upper left-hand corner. And that's nice and all, but what, what would be really nice is if that lap time in the upper left-hand corner could, be an ar uh, could show up as an argument that I could pass in uh, to actions when I pre uh, press the lap button. So for example, I have uh, in my manifest JSON, I specified that I can add actions. Um, so for example, if I wanted to create a lap, um, what I want to have happen is for some sort of stopwatch tab to appear here um, so that I can pass the lap time into these actions. So I can pass arguments into a dollar actions. So let's jump into the code and I'll show you how this works. So here we have our manifest JSON for the stopwatch component. And we have all sorts of properties here, but what we are going to focus on today is the child component of lap button, which is that the most bottom uh, sub accordion in, uh, on that editor on the left panel, specifically the lap action, which is where you can specify additional actions whenever the lap button is clicked. And to, so to tell Adala that you're going to pass arguments as magic text to this lap action, you just have to add one more property to this action called arguments. Um, and this has to be an array, um, an array of argument objects. And the argument objects only have two properties, type, which are the um, Adalo data types, specifically the simple ones, so text, uh, number, that sort of thing. You can find more information on those um, on the uh, component manifest online and display name. So in this example, we're going to have two different arguments. One, uh, the lap time is formatted in milliseconds, and the other will be lap time as formatted in, uh, in text, uh, in like a human readable format. So this, uh, this data type will be number, and it'll be the, uh, and the display name will be the uh, lap time, so time but formatted in milliseconds. And then the second argument will be of data type um, text, and the display name will be uh, time as formatted in text. So that's, that's all you need to do to tell the editor that you're going to uh, that you're going to pass arguments. And so at this point, if you were to refresh your terminal, um, uh, because remember that manifest JSON does not hot reload, um, and then if you were to go to the editor, you would see these two arguments show up as magic text. Um, specifically in the lap action. So now if we go to the lap button and add an action, for example, create lap, and we go to add magic text, we can see this new stopwatch tab appears because we specified some arguments for the lap action. So we can add the time in text for the, the name, and then we can add the time in milliseconds for the time. If you noticed here, because this is specifically a number magic text, not a uh, text magic text, um, only the time in milliseconds will appear. So it filters by data type. Another uh, important note to make is if we try to add a, a, a create lap action in reset button, the magic text will not appear because the arguments are tied directly to the create the, the uh, lap button actions, nowhere else. Also, right now, uh, if we were to open this up and press lap, the, it would actually create entries in the lap collection. However, those entries would be completely blank because we still need to do some work on our code to actually pass, um, pass those arguments into, into the rest of Adalo. So let's jump back into the code and I'll show you how to add those arguments. So here we have the source code for my stopwatch component, and we're going to focus specifically on this lap callback. It's a callback that gets passed to the lap button, so it gets called whenever the lap button is pressed. And specifically, we'll focus on these last few lines here. Um, whenever the creator of an app specifies additional actions for a component, they get passed through props. 
Um, and remember, we specified lap action through uh, inside of the child component lap button. So within the source code, it'll, it'll be passed as a, um, a child to lap button. Um, and you, uh, all you have to do is simply add logic that says, if there are any additional actions, call those additional actions. Um, and that sets off the action chain within a dollar. So to pass arguments uh, to that action chain um, in a dollo, it's super, super simple. You literally just add arguments when you call the lap act, or when you call the action. So in our case, we want to add two arguments here. If we go back to the manifest JSON, we want to add the time in milliseconds, so that's a number, and then the time uh, is a formatted text. And the order very much matters here because the kind of unique identifier for these arguments are the, uh, the name of the action and then the index within the argument array. So you cannot mix these up. Um, so first we add the lap, uh, lap time as a number, which is um, this time up here, lap time. And then we add the, uh, here is our formatted lap time. And that's it. Um, now when you go back to uh, the um, the preview, and we start messing around, it'll actually add those, um, add those times to the uh, lap collection. As I was just saying, now, remember we've added the, uh, this create lap action to, um, to our lap button. So when we press the lap button, we added the magic text, and now that we've changed the index, the source code, it should completely work. So we hit preview, and we can just start the stopwatch. We can press lap a couple times. And if we go to our database, we see three new, three new records, and we have properly passed in um, those arguments. So there you have it. That's how you add, uh, how, how you out route data from some custom component um, into uh, magic text to serve as arguments for an action chain.